This video is of a head painting demo I did for the Creative Talent Network Expo in 2009. I used a basic canvas board that I primed in a light gray uh, with acrylic gesso mixed in a little bit of uh, black. Uh, I'll be painting in oil uh, using turpentine and linseed oil as mediums, adding more linseed oil as I go and dropping less turpentine out of the mixture as I go. I made a little tent for the uh, the model there to block out the bad convention lighting. In the next shot here we'll see uh, that she's actually lit from a little up, upward left spotlight. I start the drawing, uh, actually start doing a drawing on the canvas board with a Prismacolor pencil or some sort of dark flesh colored pencil. This is like a burnt umber or a light uh, burnt sienna. Here I'm starting to lay in the shadows after drawing in the small shadows and, and calling out where I want the large shadows to be. I use a thin mixture of turpentine and oil to start uh, keeping all the values exactly the same, just all one solid value, just thinking about edge, you know, what's a hard edge, what's a soft edge, you know, so it keeps me from having to overthink and too many things to think about at once. There's the uh, the full shadow pattern laid in in the one solid value that sort of approximates a uh, dark flesh tone. You can even see on my arm there that a real flesh tone is quite similar to the one that I've put in. Uh, there's no accents, no highlights, no local color yet. All just a simple flat, you know, just the canvas board and this one solid flat color. Here I've added uh, red and uh, black, I believe. Uh, probably more of a, not just a solid black, but black mixed with a little bit of uh, burn umber. Uh, as accents, the hair color, the little gemstone on her neck, her lips, a little bit of cheek color. It's kind of hard to see because the photos are, aren't real high resolution, but it's starting to take on the full color range of the actual thing that I was looking at. Uh, also, we've I've added a little bit of uh, yellowish flesh tone. You can see in this in this piece. So there's the yellow, and then there's a, a red, and then I'm also leaving parts of the canvas through for the grayer colors. So it's just lightly brushing and using the pressure of the brush to get all these three different values mixed together to create a full range of flesh tones. There's some accents under the chin as well as highlights on the cheek there in the finished piece, highlights in the hair, and darker accents in the hair and under uh, where the eyes and eyebrows are. You can also see in this closer view that there's a slight orange reflected light to bring things like the chin and the nose forward, as well as some sharper edges and modeling in the cheeks. Thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.